Welcome to the Entrepreneurial Biome Podcast, a space for nurturing the ecosystem of business, body, and living. What would it be like if you gave your body a leadership role in your business and chose greater happiness every day? These are the conditions that create a healthy biome and a thriving business. I'm your host, Heather Nichols, and I'm so happy you're here. Hello, everybody. How are you? Welcome to the Entrepreneurial Biome Podcast. Um, I am here this week at the Lazy Double D Ranch in Blyblerville, Texas. Say that 10 times fast. Blyblerville, Blyblerville, Blyblerville. <laughs> Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful place. Um, this ranch is is really um, very special. It's very, very quiet, intensely peaceful. Um, there's just land and green and trees and roosters and horses and cows and crickets and it's just beautiful. And um, I came um, from the maestro, the access consciousness maestro class in, um, in Rome, which is a very wonderful, very intense, energetic class that I was part of and, um, and, uh, had been doing a three week tour in Europe, um, bunch of classes there. And, um, it's been, um, uh, just phenomenal. And I was really, I was pretty exhausted. Um, I got home and turned around and was here about 36 hours later. And, um, and it's been so wonderful to just kind of spread out. And I've been in a class here. It's um, an SE essence class. SE stands for energetic synthesis of structural embodiment, beautiful, energetic, uh, body work. Let's call it that. Um, and, uh, and I so I've been receiving and giving a lot of body work and um, and just uh, uh, yeah playing with the land. So it was, it was exactly what my body required. Um, and after so much travel and being in cities and all that kind of stuff, and um, I wanted to talk a little bit about because you know I love the the classes that we do in Access Consciousness. Um, there's so many of them and, and I love participating and facilitating them um, because we get to just every single time, it's like we get to open up new conversations, uh, new possibilities, new energies based on who's there and the bodies and the, you know, what people are asking for, what's available. And um, the classes are so energetic and, um, and um, it's, there's just, it's like a whole different new world now. Um, and, uh, and creation is different. There's just so many more possibilities with bodies that are available now. And, um, we're heading into the holiday season in, um, you know, well, and the world, I guess, but in, in the United States, we have Thanksgiving coming up, uh, it'll be the day after this podcast gets broadcasted. So it might be in the past when you're listening. Um, but, um, and, you know, Christmas and New Year's and all of that stuff. And, um, and it's a time where uh, often people kind of check out in a lot of ways. They, they check out from their bodies. They check out from, um, you know, creation. And they, they kind of get into like family party mode, you know. And, um, and, and it, it's a, it's a really cool festive time of year for some, you know, not everybody loves this time of year. Um, I definitely have a lot of mixed feelings about it, but what I've done in the past many years is, um, just really chosen something different and, and made it work for me. Um, and, you know, so that I don't get like swept up into the frenzy. Like I remember one year, a long time ago, I, I, you know, came home after the holidays and, and was so sick. My body was so sick and I was just so, I needed like a week to recover. And I was like, yeah, that's just not, this isn't fun. You know, like what I, whatever I did to my body wasn't fun. It wasn't enjoyable. I'd like to choose something different, you know, 
And um, I think that's also like part of the whole, you know, people do this whole like New Year's um, resolution and all that kind of stuff. And it's like, what if there was just a really different choice, a lot of different choices available and, and we could like stay connected to our bodies and stay connected to creation, whatever that looks like this time of year, you know, and it might look and it, it might look different than it does at other times um, of the year. But um, but the thing that has become so clear to me is that our bodies are, um, I mean, this is kind of the nature of this podcast and the one of the kind of overarching topics, but even more so how much our bodies contribute to the creative possibilities that exist in our lives. And um and our bodies actually are, if we, if we see ourselves as, you know, energetic beings, um, like infinite beings who have these incredible bodies. And one of the things I love about the work of access consciousness is it actually, um, it gives, um, there's this, there's a distinction in a way, um, between, um, like it, it, it recognizes that we are beings. And this is, you know, this is true for me. It may, I don't ever want to tell anybody what's true for them. So you can see if this is light for you or not, if this reads for you or if it has a sense of expanding something in your world. Um, but um, that like, so for me, I, I, my sense of myself is an infinite being that's been around the block many times have this body this lifetime, you know, and I've, I've like, this is my current, you know, like incarnation or whatever. And um, so there's, there's sort of like my body and my being, and they're not the same, you know, and they're also not separate, but they get, they play together. And there's this like interaction of body and being that creates me at whatever that is, <laughs> you know, and I change all the time too. And I love that about the work that I do. Um, cause it gets, I get to have so many more new different possibilities. And so with that, it's like our bodies are the, the aspect of us that have, that are of the physical world and our bodies have this like engagement with the physical world that is, you know, obvious. Right. And, um, and they know a lot about creating, you know, they, they know our bodies have this innate consciousness, wisdom, whatever you want to call it. And it, our bodies know a lot about creating the physical world and, and, and like actualizing things on a physical level. So if you're looking at, you know, whatever that may be with a, with your business, um, with your, you know, money flows, with your, uh, like, you know, building a house or creating, like creating something in your, you know, personal life, your home life, whatever. Um, our bodies have enormous amounts of information about that. And even parenting last week, we broadcast a beautiful episode that was a, it was a repost from my previous podcast, Creation of Living. Um, it was a beautiful conversation with my son, my 16 year old son, who was 15 at the time. Um, and, um, and just an incredible conversation with him about um, parenting and family and some stuff we had gone through. And, um, and that like my choices as a parent have been largely informed by my body. My, I mean, even in the beginning for me of, of, of parenting, my body was so stressed out that, and I mentioned this, I think, in the beginning of that podcast, my body was so stressed out that I couldn't even begin to engage with business um, in the way I desired to. And this is when my children were quite young and I had just gotten divorced. So I needed to create something, you know, in income wise, but I couldn't even engage with that um, until I really took care of my body and handled what was going on with my body. Cause my body was in extreme amounts of pain and, uh, there was a lot going on. And so I needed to address that and I did. And, um, 
And then it was like the my creative space started to open up. But but my body has given me so much information as I've gone, and about you know parenting and all these different aspects of physical reality, and my business and money and things like that. And you know we we have this. We're very like the 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 world is very much set up to make bodies wrong. Um, there's no even acknowledgement of the consciousness of the body, the wisdom of the body. Um, and bodies are something that need to be controlled and the mind is superior and all these things. And, you know, that's just not really the case. And so, um, and we, we actually like diminish so dynamically what we can create when we ignore our bodies, we don't listen to them. We think we need to control them into something um, rather than actually having a sense of, hey, you know, there's this beautiful organism that I have and be, you know, and um, wow, like what do you know? And one of the things I say a lot in my body classes, I facilitate these beautiful body classes um, is that, hey, you know, uh, um, oh my gosh, I just completely forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, I know what it is. Um, is, you know, what if you have, what if you, like, if your body is totally conscious, it's this amazing facilitator that is basically with you all the time, you know, and we, we are so used to looking outside of ourselves for advice and direction and, and, you know, like uh, input on, you know, what to do, what to choose, that kind of thing. Our bodies are an en enormous resource and we don't pay attention to them um, because I don't know why, because we just think they're stupid. You know, <laughs> we don't, we don't recognize that our bodies have an awareness and a, and a consciousness of their own. And so you actually, if you choose to, engage with your body as this, um, you know, the, the consciousness that it is, um, it's like, you can actually, um, you can actually, you, you basically have a, a totally conscious, beautiful facilitator right here with you all the time. And that's amazing to me. That's really amazing to me that, um, that I'm like, wow, I have this like totally conscious organism called my body here to show me at any time when I, but I need to ask it, you know, um, to give me direction, to give me input, to give me information, you know, about where I'm going and what I'm doing. And, you know, <coughs> and I, I just find that <clears throat> completely fascinating. And <coughs> also, <clears throat> an incredible resource, an incredible resource. <clears throat> so what if your body is actually a facilitator and a resource and a, <clears throat> you know, if it could be your business partner and it could actually direct you, lead you in the direction of something greater. Um, and that's, that's actually a class I'm going to <clears throat> start doing in the new year. Um, is I my internet is quite quite bad here, <laughs> so I hope this is working. Um, it might be cutting out a little bit, <clears throat> um, but um, is it's called your body as your business partner, and um, really exploring what it is to include your body in the creation of your life and living, which is something that <clears throat> really nobody talks about. Um, and to me, if we don't include our bodies, we, we are just missing out on so much. So how do we do that? You know, and, and this is a, to me, an ever evolving <clears throat> conversation that we get to have with our bodies, um, and in our lives. And here's, here's the starting point, I guess I would say is, your body is always showing you what it requires. It's always giving you information about what it requires. And, um, <clears throat> and so what if you could trust that? And what if nothing that's going on with your body is wrong, you know, and whether it's, you know, you have, 
you're sick or you have an illness or you have pain or you have, you know, whatever, some sort of challenge with your body. Like what if whatever is going on with your body at any given time is actually not wrong. It's, it's actually just information um, as to different possibilities that you can choose. And so one of the things that that we, I would just invite you to start doing more is when you have a sense of when your body is getting your attention in some way, unfortunately, we don't listen to our bodies. So they get our attention. Usually the only way bodies get our attention is through something not very fun, pain or trauma or drama or sickness or whatever. Um, but my body gets my attention in some really cool ways. Like I, my body has, I have a lot of pleasure in my body and with my body all the time. And, um, and that's something that, um, I listen to a lot because my body will have these pleasurable sensations and, um, and I actually listen to, and I'm like, wow, my body's giving me input here. It's giving me feedback of like, it's, yeah, that's, that's my body's yes. You know, when there's some sensation of pleasure, whatever it may be, that's a yes. You know, that is a yes, or, or like a sense of lightness, you know, that may not be as, as tangible as sensation, but a sense of like expansiveness and lightness that that's a yes from my body. And so listening to that, but, um, but it, let's look at the other side because for a lot of people it starts with pain and illness and whatever. And, um, and that does not have to be, but anytime. So anytime your body is doing something to get your attention um, and start, you'll just start to notice after this, you know, conversation, maybe, maybe you will, maybe you won't. Um, but you can start to notice like, how are these things showing up for you? And how is your body, how does your body get your attention? So be in the question of that and invite your body. Like if you could talk to your body, if you could have a conversation with the consciousness of your body, it's like, Hey body, what do you, what are you inviting me to? You know, what, how do you, how would you like to communicate with me? Will you please show me? Um, you've, ex you've opened the door, you've extended an invitation to your body. Hey, please, you know, give me, give me clear communication let me know how you would like to, um, you know, how you like, show me even more how you already communicate with me and how you would like to maybe even more and see what shows up. And, um, and as you do, it's like, you're, you'll start to notice different things. And so when your body's getting your attention in whatever way that is, and it could be, um, you know, it could be, let's just say there's some pain going on. So instead of being like, going straight to like, I need to handle the pain. A lot of people just take a pill, you know? Um, and there, there's like, a com they're completely ignoring their body. So that's one choice, you know? Um, but what if you could actually, what if you could go, okay, you get really present with your body and you go, okay. Um, hi. So you can do that right now. And there may not be anything going on with your body right now, but what if right now you just got present with your body? Like take this time, you know, you're listening to this podcast, um, take time, you know, even if you're driving or you're doing dishes or you're doing something, you could pause or you could keep doing what you're doing, but just turn your attention toward your body right now and say hi to it. And this is something that a lot of people don't even want to do, you know, and that's okay. You know, I want to just say that like functioning with your body in this way is it's a really different choice. And it's a, it's not, we're not taught this as children growing up, like we're taught to ignore invalidate and control our bodies, not celebrate the gift of the out of control gift of consciousness and creation and pleasure and joy and embodiment that our bodies actually are. So, um, so just say hi to it. Like, and you could be like, I have ignored you my whole life. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, cause if you're still listening, 
you're interested in in some way you know there's a lot of people that will hear this and they'll be like oh whatever i'm going to turn it off they'll judge me or the conversation or whatever uh, that's fine i don't i you know you can't put yourself out in the world and expect to be liked by everybody that's for dang sure <laughs> um so that's fine um but i'm talking to the people that would that desire to hear this you know so um and you you're here you know so it's like what are you asking for with your body what are you asking for in your life and what if those two could be really beautifully connected you know and it's not just like i go to work i do my things you know and then i like go work out and i eat healthy you know for a lot of people that's the extent of the conversation of including their bodies is like i work out i sleep enough and i eat well okay great now there's universes upon universes upon universes beyond that um like the co-creation moment to moment with your body through presence and that's what i'm inviting you to right now is just the presence hi body hello what have you like is there something that you've been wanting to tell me <laughs> is there something that you've been wanting to share with me and sweet body I'm sorry. Sorry that I've controlled you, ignored you, invalidated you. And uh, I'd like to include you more now. I'd like to receive more from you now. I'd like to receive the gift of you and Please, if you if you want to ask this, go for it. This is just an option. Careful what you ask for. <laughs> but you could ask your body to override you, override your insanity. <laughs> I that's a that's a tool. That's one of my favorite tools. It's like, hey, you can override me. You know, if I'm being an idiot with you. If I'm being an idiot in the creation of my life, let me know in no uncertain terms. And it can be ease. You know, I'd like to have, like we say, the mantra of access consciousness is all of life comes to me with ease and joy and glory. And that is a, such a powerful mantra to use. Um, just say it all day long, you know, and so whatever, whatever shows up, like you get, it shows up with these joy and glory. It doesn't mean your whole life is rainbows and unicorns, but it does, you know, things show up like whatever they are challenging things or whatever. Like for me, whenever I have pain in my body and my body does use pain a lot to get my attention. Um, it's like, there's a, like the, evolution beyond it and the kind of like resolution of it is always has a space of ease joy and glory to it like it always leads me to something greater and what i'm asking for now is i've become aware of like how much i um there's something about the intensity of that that's valuable to me i'm like okay i'd like to have a possibility beyond that you know i, I don't need to have the intensity of pain to pay attention, you know? Um, so I'm asking for something different with that, you know, and there's, so there's always more, but just body, what, what would you like me to know? And then, so here, so another piece of this that I'd like to offer up as sort of an exercise is um, get a sense of, and maybe I'll do more on this next week, um, but get a sense of um, what it is that you are, because um, there's a piece of like clarity here that I think would be a cool podcast in and of itself. So that's coming next week. Um, 
I just need to remember. <laughs> um, but get a sense of um, the, like what you would like to have as your life. And, you know, right now, as I'm recording this, it's November, uh, this will be broadcast on November 22nd, 2023. So let's look at the new year, you know, and include the rest of this year as well. But it's kind of a time where people start looking at the next year and what their asks are. So if your life could be absolutely anything a year from now, next, you know, Thanksgiving-ish time, what would it, what would, what would you have it be? Like anything, if anything was possible, anything, there was nothing out of the question. There was nothing off limits, everything, anything and everything is possible. What would you ask for? And, um, and see what that is, you know, what's, what's available there. And, um, and so, um, so like I said, we'll go more into like a process with that next week, but, um, just get a sense of like, oh, maybe I'd like to have a lot more free time. I'd like to have a lot more ease with my body. I'd like to have a lot more, like maybe you want to like to have like a lot more um, like beautiful people in your life that are actually a contribution to you, relationships, whatever, uh, more money, more growth of your business, it, you know, those tangible things, right? And then you can ask for things that are not tangible as well. Maybe some spiritual or, you know, uh, like requests as far as like consciousness goes, Um like greater consciousness, greater communion with the earth, greater communion with your body, greater communion with people around you, getting out of judgment of you, like those types of things that are not as measurable in a way. And, you know, there's a lot of ways we can perceive that as well. Also a story for another time. Um, but, um, My thing keeps cutting out. So, <laughs> um, so, but just get a sense of like, let's take one thing right now. One thing that you would like to ask for in the next year that would just be really wonderful if a year from now you had it. Okay. Whatever that is for you in any area of life. Now ask your body. Hey, body. I know you know some things about this. Will you please show me? Will you please, can we like hold hands, you know, um, and do this together? Can we please do this together? I promise that I will listen to you. I will pay more attention to you. And not just in the tick boxes of, healthy eating, sleep, exercise, you know, although those, you know, those things can be really helpful. Um, and there's a lot more conversations we can have about that as well. Um, but truly in this like way of like the consciousness of your body, the wisdom, the awareness of your body, like allowing that in, opening the doors to that and letting it come into your world even more. And you're not going to know necessarily in this moment what that is. You know, this is a, one of the things when we ask for things, when we ask questions and we ask for things, um, is one of the things about that is that we, we cast a, we cast a net, you know, um, that, in the moment that you cast it, it is empty, you know, and then as you, as you go, like, you know, if it's like a fishing net, right, like the fish will come into the net, you know, and then at some point you harvest it, you pull it up and you've got all these fish. So, um, so we're casting a net right now through questions, you know, through the invitation for your body to contribute to you. And it's like, please show me what you know.
and just give it some space, you know, and learning the language of your particular body, um, learning to how you communicate with your particular body is going to, um, it's going to be really unique to you. It's going to be something that is, um, that you will, it, it just takes practice, you know? And it's kind of like, if you right now were like, I'm going to learn to speak Russian, you know? Um, and our language, if you know Russian, choose a different language that's totally different, right? Chinese or something, or, you know? Um, if you were gonna set out to, to learn a language that you have no familiarity with, you would not expect yourself to speak it right now, you know? So there's a level of vulnerability here of like getting present and getting vulnerable with ourselves and stepping in to the space and going, this is going to be, this is a whole new world. And you may already have some conversations in the mix with your body like you may or you may also have a level of skillfulness with this already you know um so there's different people here listening will be at different places but um what if today was day one for you of a completely different level of communication with your body and inclusion of your body in creation um and having this dialogue with it. Um, and wherever you are, it's like, okay, I'm gonna begin again, you know? Um, I I used to take um, Vin Marti, who is a beautiful movement teacher. Um, I don't even know what his work is called at this point. Um, it was This was a long time ago. Um, I think it was called Soul Motion. The, um, uh, I get all the different dances, dance things that I used to do confused because there were so many different versions. But anyway, beautiful movement teacher, beautiful creature. Um, and he used to come. I owned a dance studio in Boulder um, lifetimes ago. And he used to come and do classes there. And, um, and this was like very self-directed movement, which is also like I, you know, movement is like such a huge thing for me. Um, and <clears throat> we get a lot of information from our bodies when they're moving, just side note. Also, maybe we'll do more on that. Um, but he, he used to say throughout his classes, he'd be, he'd be just facilitating, like facilitating you to have, to be with your body in a greater way. And throughout his classes, um, he would, he would say, begin again begin again, begin again, begin again. And I just love that so much. Um, I've used it ever since because it's, it does, it's, there's this sense of like, I can begin again and it's not starting over, you know, it's beginning again. And now here I am here. I am who I am here. I am with my body in the way that I am with my body. Now I'm going to begin again. And, um, and so what if you could begin again to have this kind of intimacy, vulnerability, conversation, connection, um, communion, co-creation with your body. And um, now is the moment that you get to choose that. And then tomorrow you can begin again. And you get to bring with you everything that you have that is of value and contribution, you know? Um, and so, so, and you could take this process that we just kind of went through of, you know, okay, I'd like to, I'd like to have this. Cause I mean, even just on a day-to-day -day basis, like one of the joy of business tools that I use every day. Um, and at this point, I'd sort of more of like a, less of a formal ask and more of a space that I be, which is like, what's required of me today? Like, what does my business require of me today? Um, 
and um and you know like and but always you always want to ask these questions with the sense of what it is that you're asking to create in your awareness because if you would like to create going to france or going to russia you know it's a very different something very different is required to get to france than it is russia from where you are you know you might even be going two different directions on the depending on where you are on the planet you know so um so there's you know there's a lot of um there's a lot of value in having the clarity of where you'd like to what you'd like to create and again next week um but uh but as much as you can in this moment like okay what I, what would what would i if there was nothing off limits what would i truly like to have as my business my life you know the whole biome right the whole ecosystem of everything that you're up to and then just if you can kind of like get the energy of that because it's it's more about the energy than it is about the specifics of it um but get the sense of like how it would be for you to have that you know it's like oh that would be really fun be really alive da, da, da. and then ask your body like hey what's what's required to get there what do you know body about the creation of this and your body might be like get a massage <laughs> you know and I'm actually not kidding because a lot of times it is in the nurturing of our bodies and the space, the gifting of space that the awareness just starts to move and flow. And like when I'm really busy, like the past few weeks, I've been so busy. I've been like, pause. I, I don't know if it's going to be cutting out for you guys. I'm not sure what those little breaks are going to look like when this thing gets published. Um, but um, but at the last few weeks, it's been, you know, wake up, go to class, step, like very, you know, full on everyday travel. Um, there has not, there's been very few days in the past two months that I haven't been either in class or traveling. And, um, and so my team has been asking me for a lot of things like, Hey, can you do this? Can you do that? You know? And there's like a new website in the works and all this stuff. And it's been like, I literally am like, I don't have the bandwidth to do this right now. And um, not making that wrong, you know, not making me wrong. And, and now it's like being here in the ranch and having this space. It's like, Whoa, there's this like creation kind of bubbling up. That is really cool. And, um, and but it's the space that i've given myself and my body that's allowing that to show up now and so that's a lot of times what we what we require is just to have the space so a massage might be exactly what your business requires funnily enough you know because when we think about business we think i gotta do 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 no that's not that's not i mean you could but ease, joy, and glory with business is very different, very different. And I would say it involves a deep, wide, robust, and like super abundant honoring of your body and creation of a joyful reality with your body. And business and money grows organically from that. That's part of the biome. So in a way, um, tending to the joy of your body um is like nurturing the soil of your ecosystem of your biome of your biome if you haven't heard this before biome is one of the definitions is major life area right an area where there's a major amount of life that's your world hopefully that can be your world more and more we create even more life you know, sometimes the biome is desertified and not so much, you know, not a lot of flourishing. So how do we tend to the biome? How do we tend to the ecosystem? We tend to the body, which to me has so much, there's so much, um, and this isn't the only piece, but for this conversation, it's like tending to the body is amending the soil, you know, and, and allowing the soil to be even more 
nutrient dense and rich and, and, you know, um, alive and teeming with, you know, minerals and possibility and all that stuff. Um, and that's, um, when we care for our bodies, we, we contribute to that. We contribute to the flourishing of the soil that feeds the entire biome and the entire ecosystem. Um, and, um, and so from there you take care of the soil. Well, the, the leaves on the trees are going to be more vibrant, you know? Um, and it doesn't seem like that would be, you know, it's sort of an indirect thing, but it's also very direct. So, um, so I hope this was helpful. Um, as always, I appreciate your comments, your questions, your, you know, maybe you have a request for something you'd like me to talk about. Happy to entertain that. Um, and, and, you know, if you, I think I, we say this at the end, but if you did enjoy this, please share, like, subscribe, all the things that make, make it, you know, bump it up in the algorithm. Um, and just, you know, how much, how much, even if you feel like your relationship with your body right now is just a total disaster, <laughs> which I get it, you know, it's a lot of, I mean, I've definitely been there many times in my life. Um, you can begin again. You can begin again right now. And it's just from the lowering of your barriers, the ask and the choosing, okay, I'm going to have something different. And I'm willing to show up in a different way to create that no matter what it takes. So I hope that was a contribution to you and I will see you next time. Bye. Thank you for joining me for the Entrepreneurial Biome Podcast. If you enjoyed this episode, please like, share, and subscribe. For more resources, check out my website at heathernichols.com and my social media channels as well. Have a beautiful day and remember that your business thrives when you do.